In this video, I'm going to take you through an Aave migration and staking tutorial. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Aave, please check out everbithelps.co.uk. The first Aave improvement proposal has now ended, with overwhelming votes in favour of the token migration from Lend to Aave. And this migration is the first step in the Aave nomics. So far, just under 13% of Lend has been migrated to Aave, although this number will obviously change depending on the time that you're watching this recording. Migrating from the Lend to the Aave token allows users to participate actively on the Aave protocol governance and stake within the protocol safety module, similar to the likes of Compound and more recently Uniswap. The ratio of tokens works out to be 100 Lend to 1 Aave. So if you migrate 100 Lend, you'll end up having one Aave token. And you don't need to have the exact amount. The migration will be performed following that ratio. The actual process to migrate from Lend to Aave is quite similar to a deposit. You'll need to approve and then upgrade your tokens, and I'll take you through all of that in a moment. And one thing to mention is if you have Lend in exchanges or other places, these exchanges will be announcing themselves if they handle the migration from their side. So if you have Lend on an exchange that won't be allowing it to migrate, then you'll need to withdraw to whatever wallet you're using to connect to the Aave protocol, and then migrate it from there. And exchanges such as Binance have announced that the token swap to Aave will be supported on their platform. Once you have your new Aave tokens, you can now stake them. Staking consists of depositing your Aave tokens within the protocol safety module. And the purpose of staking is to act as a mitigation tool in case of a shortfall event. As an incentive for this service, safety module stakers will receive safety incentives. The initial rewards are 400 Aave per day and they're to be distributed among the stakers. Stakers will also receive a percentage of the protocol fees and that will come later if the government votes on it. Now there are also some risks to staking too. In the case of a shortfall event, the safety module uses up to 30% of the assets locked to cover the deficit. This protocol protection won't be active on the initial launch, and they'll inform users when slashing is activated. But if you're comfortable with all of that, then let's jump into the walkthrough and migrate, then stake our tokens. And to get started, you'll need some Ethereum to pay for the gas fees. But after you've connected your wallet, you'll want to head down to Migration Portal. Then you'll see the amount of Lend available in your wallet that you'll be swapping to the new Aave token. And as I mentioned, the ratio here is 100 Lend to 1 Aave. You'll first need to approve to allow the migration contract to move your Lend tokens to migrate them across to Aave. So we'll go ahead and submit here. Well, you'll need to pay a small gas fee here. And you can edit this in conjunction with the likes of ETH gas station if you wish. Now we can go ahead and start the actual migration by pressing on to upgrade. Now I personally made a bit of an error here, as I also found I had more Lend tokens over on another address, after I had completed this whole process. So I ended up having to pay all of these fees twice. So if you do have Lend in more than one wallet or address, then it might be worth sending all of these over to one address before you start migrating. And at present, there's no end date to migrate, so you could also wait until the gas fees are a little bit lower. But once the transaction is confirmed, you'll see a message stating congratulations and you'll have your new Aave tokens available in your wallet. You'll also have the amount of Aave tokens that you've received displayed here too and you'll be prompted to start staking these straight away to start receiving protocol incentives, which you can also access via the staking tab on the left of the site here. 
and I'm going to be staking all of my Aave tokens. And again, you'll need to send two transactions to participate in staking. The first one is to approve, to allow the staking contract to move your Aave tokens. Then you can stake your Aave tokens. And when that's confirmed, your tokens will be staked in the safety module. So over on the right hand side here, it will show you the amount that you've staked. It shows the amount that's claimable, the Aave per week and per month, and that works out to be about 11% per annum at the moment. Now if you want to unstake, you can do this after the cooldown period has been activated. This cooldown period is currently set to 10 days. So to unstake, you first need to pay a transaction to activate the cooldown period, then pay for another transaction to unstake after this period is complete. And Binance users will be able to use the convert function over on Binance to swap their Lend for Aave tokens. If your tokens are over on Binance, it's worth noting that Binance suspended Lend isolated margin trading on the 4th of October. And it's worth checking out their latest article with regards to this for various service updates and settlements. So that was a pretty simple process. And if you do have any issues, you can contact Aave support at wecare at Aave.com, as well as keep up to date with their latest news on Twitter or Discord. So that concludes how to migrate and stake your Aave tokens. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.